He held up a mirror and said, Doctor heal thyself. Not really. I didn't even imagine it, not until after the fact. But he said something to that effect. Which is good and bad. It's good, because it means I was giving good advice. Bad because it was advice I needed given to me. And I wasn't listening. Not at first. There are ten other sets of parents at the baseball practices. Last night, we were warned beforehand that it would be a three-hour practice. Not normal, but we needed to work on hitting, and then had a scrimmage with another team. A partial scrimmage. They wanted to work on their at-bats. And we got to run through our pitchers and do defensive field work. Five kids from an 11 12 year old team came to the park to hit off our pitchers and run the bases. Their kids were a head taller than ours. I thought it was a good idea, even if the boys got a little tired after the second hour. Which means we need to work on endurance, something I've whispered in the coach's ear more than once. Less fortnight, more running. At least until I can figure out how to teach grit. During practice, the parents talk. Some come, some go, some split duties with one or the other coming to watch. And we talk. I have good friends in that group, a core of about three or four that I consider really good friends. The kind of guys you can get a beer with. I could get a beer with their wives, but I have warned them that I'm a lover drunk, so it's wise to keep distance and talk from the other side of the bleachers. One of the dads is a bit entrepreneurial, so we like delving into it every now and then. He said he had been working on Facebook ads a little while, and so have I, so we picked brains. He told me he had about 50k followers for an apparel company he's partnered on that sells digi camo clothes to the west coast. But he wanted content ideas. So we shared. I gave him some simple, easy ideas, and then told him my problem. Which is TikTok. I have had a goal to make videos on that platform for over a year. A mentor told me a year ago to get on it, and get 100 done by the end of the year. But I've been sitting on it. Talking to this dad, we found out he's afraid. So am I. We found out it was about judgment, which I say I'm not too concerned about, but has a hold on me anyway. And then he got pumped. He got excited about an idea we tossed around, the simplicity of it, and for a moment, his fear was lost in pleasure and excitement. I challenged him to do it before we meet up at a tournament in South Haven, Miss. Then I said I'd do it with him. Put out one of the projects I've had on a back burner for a year. Not the TikTok videos, which I will do. I'm doing need to do. But another one that he inspired. It reminded me of one of the things I like to do. Talk to like-minded people, spark good conversations and share ideas. I like to give. You know this because you got with this group because of a giveaway. And I try to have something for you every time we talk. Free ebooks. New authors. The idea was to expand beyond it. I have some stuff to give away. If I had started this when I first planned it, I would be giving away a car, and a home, my ultimate goals to give away free and clear a rehab home and a couple of cars. But let's start with the beginning of the plan. I'm doing a paperback giveaway. A few of my books. A few books by other authors. Some toys. Some things from storage that I no longer use or need, things that can find new life with someone else. All you have to do is subscribe and watch. Click to enter. It's that simple. That easy. Which is what that dad wanted. Simple and easy. He has three kids under the age of 10, he needs simple and easy. And I asked him for a couple of shirts when my plan for him works. I'll give them away too. Sometimes, I think the best advice we can give is the advice we deserve to get. Even if it comes from ourselves.